Hello everybody, hey OG Gaming here, back with another video on MTG Arena. Today we got uh, a Balin, who is technically still new because they haven't released Dustmorn, but um, I'm going to be playing with the different those cards when those come out, obviously. I think I should do Brawl because I can just get the character, not a standard Brawl, the long time brawl i know the videos are going to be long but it's much easier for me to do that because i can just collect one copy of legendary stuff and then do that instead of having to spend money on a game 3.2 men average cost most of them are white cards about half the deck is white that's because a lot of it does make tokens and a lot of our answers are white related because you know that it's much easier to do stuff that way haymaker um what does she do so she's three mana naya four three Rabbit Warrior Legendary Creature, tap 2 on tap tokens you control, add 1 mana of any color, tap 3 on tap tokens you control, draw a card, tap 4 on tap tokens you control, put 3 1 1 counters on Balin the Haymaker, it gains trample on the end of turn. You could see them as mana if you're doing treasures, you can make a lot of 1 1s. I kind of just went 1 1s and treasures pretty much, or just like a lot of token generation in general. Johnny, Asala, we got like a lot of stuff, right? Rest in peace to like help us with some certain decks get lost we have some we have a one or two board wipes we don't really need those though goro magda you know some stuff seraphic steed because that's a cool new card that actually is very cool i haven't used it before we got treasure map obviously add the line for a ton of token generation uh wedding announcement restoration like we're making a lot of tokens we're going to get some protection as well we're, we just have cards with multi-use pretty much but they make tokens um, Skyclave Apparition is just to, to help us, you know, protect. Yeah, um, we got some Growing Rights of Liquamon stuff. We're making more treasure with this, or gold token, sorry. Um, tre token, token, token stuff, right? Create a copy of token that you control to enter this turn, which is good because we have, uh, better token generation later on. Yeah, we can make one twos, we can make wolves, so we have our the wolf stuff there's also the consuming blob um do i have that two mana i don't i don't have that two mana thing it's fine all right and uh yeah that's pretty much the end of the deck i have some planeswalkers in there to help me as well you know we got the emperor we got Arlen, we got other people as well, but yeah, that's the deck. Nissa, we got, uh, yeah, and then so we got Sun's Twilight. We also have Burn Down the House. I think those are two board wipes. And Virtue of Loyalty, because, you know, if you're playing a deck that cares about a lot of stuff on the board. Oh, wait. I've been trying to do Gris as well, and it's not been working out. It's because you, you, you have to play too much into Gris in order to get him to flip, in order just to use him. And by that point, you're already dead. <laughs> it's pretty much like Cruel Claw, but... Um, yeah, it's pretty much like Cruel Claw, honestly. But a little bit worse, I would say. The thing about Cruel Claw is you win instantly, though. The thing about Gris is you don't win instantly. You just get a cool commander. Ah, this would have been so much better with more lands. But we get a lot of token generation instantly. I think that's better, and we can start drawing cards too. So we really don't do anything for now. But they can play their Ash not instantly, yep. Let me do that. Watch this. We simply play this thing and we pass. We're gonna do the wedding announcement. We don't have a green mana, so that sucks for us, but uh, that's what happens with Balin. And we're facing a black deck with a sword, yeah, sure. Fuck you, was the cost. Fuck you. Like, truly. Degeneracy of the worst fucking kind. Oh my god, it's, if you get rid of the wedding announcement, I'm just gonna. It's gonna suck. It's just gonna, it's gonna be over. That's the one thing that gets me back in this game. If he gets rid of it, I just have to quit. Come on! I swing? Yes? Do it? Are you gonna... 
He's gonna get rid of the wedding announcement. Watch this. Oh, he didn't. Okay, burn down the house. I guess he's gonna have a board wipe or something. Yep. Green mana. Ah. Uh, do we play the Balin? No, we do this to play the token thing, yeah. Because he doesn't have protection from white. And we can start drawing cards, right? This is attacking us with the Nash Nod, it's fine. I think we do the level 2 and we play our commander. Unless we get a land, which then we could probably do a Wanderer and that. Oh wait, no. That, there we go. 3-2. We can't make a copy because he's just going to attack us with that. Okay, well now we just have to stall for now. It doesn't have protection from white. So that's fine by me. I just get rid of his commander. What does this do? Yeah, no not effect. To cast an artifact. Okay, so you have to cast artifacts with it. Interesting. He's got the combo going. So I'm going to have to stall. By not letting him hit me. So he can't, you know, get the damage off. He can't get any resources. Because right now I'm out resourcing him just by the cards on the f battlefield. We do this. Exile your commander. Yep, you know it's coming. You're just gonna have to play your commander again. I'm sorry, brother. I thought we were losing, but uh, we're still winning. We're still in this. Make my token. Draw my card. And then I play the Bone Horde, and, and if he doesn't kill either of them, we're pretty much just... It consistently winning. Like he's not gonna be able to do much. Yeah, he gets to persist back. Nice. The combo works, but unless he has protection from me, he should have gotten the uh, sort of shadow, sort of uh, light and shadow. But then he can't target his own commander, I believe, with black cards. So I don't know. It doesn't give it haste, so I'm okay for now. I am a-okay for now. Oh, you know what I do? I just do the caretaker and buff up everything. Because then he's going to have to kill stuff. Uh, do I? Or do I put the gold vein down? Or I just make a 1-1 one -one human with this. I can do that. Yeah, I can just flood tokens. Yeah, so we do this. Make a 1-1. One -one. Draw a card. I get to play land, finally. Play the Aganjo. Search my library for a basic. It'll be this. Um, and then I'll make, make a 2-2. Two -two. Yeah, I'll make a 2-2. Two -two. I'll get rid of my, my Planeswalker for now. We can bring it back if we need to. Now everything is bigger. We can, yeah, so we can kill his Ashnod. Which is what I wanted to do. Now we have a lot of tokens. They're going to be very big next turn. I'm going to copy them with the caretaker's talent. And uh, after that we... Oh no, should we play the bone horde? No, no, it's fine. Because everything is big, so he needs to have a board wipe. Oh, yep, there we go. He's just trying to kill all of my stuff now. Because he knows he can't outvalue me the way I can outvalue him. Got a kill spell? Another one? He's just a pure black deck. I mean, so far he's done some cool stuff. I'm not gonna lie. You just attack with everything? No? Okay. Yeah, I'm not letting you hit me with that. Yep, that's gonna die. I'm gonna come back. I'm not gonna let you hit me with that. Never gonna let you hit me with that. That's just gonna give you advantage. Ooh, nice. Uh, yep. Uh, yeah, we discard this. Summit one. It's gonna enter tapped, whatever. We won't have enough mana to do anything. Oh, wait, no, that would have been great. Here, wait, wait. Do this. And then we do this.
Uh, draw a card. Uh. Yeah, we're attacking with the 5-5, five five. it's fine. <coughs> yep, go ahead and give up your creature with Persist so you can't make any more Power Stones. I don't know what his win con is, but hopefully it comes soon. Cage Sun! Okay. Whenever a land ability causes you to add one or more mana of the chosen color, add that. Okay, I, I, he doesn't have a win con, I don't think so right now, so he's trying to search for it. He has a lot of artifacts. Maybe it's deal damage equal to the artifacts you control. There's gotta be a card that does that. There's gotta be a card. Um, yeah, Balin is there to basically help us if we don't have anything to draw, make mana, or be big stuff. But we have everything in our hands, so honestly, you don't even have to play the commander. You just play good cards. Yep. I think we kill his commander, so he has to play it again. Oh, no, no. No, no, because we can kill him faster this way, so we just block with one. Here's what we do, and we- oh, we start making tokens as well. Yep, this is the problem that you're gonna have, Ashenod, is the token generation. Yep, token. Boom, perfect. We get to draw. Oh, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. The deck works the way it's supposed to. We get our token generator as well. Everything is online. Draw two cards, yep. I just drew everything in my deck, pretty much. Um... Well, we don't have anything whites, but, uh, do we do Urabrask? Yeah, we do the Urabrask because if he kills our creatures, at least this thing will always make creatures, like, always. Um, Seraphic Steed as well, I want to play this card now. And can we play the Frost Tyrant? We can play the Frost Tyrant or the Myrel. I think we do the Myrel. Yep. We just make a lot of tokens, so that's gonna kill him if he doesn't do anything. Okay, uh, next. Attack with one, two, three, four, yep. We make everything big if we need to, but I think he's just dead if he doesn't do anything next turn. Yep, I mean, it's, it's a red-green deck. That's what Balin is, right? You can make it as crazy as you want, but it's a red-green deck that generates tokens. Has some answers if you need them, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, yep. We have Flare for Fortitude so that we can protect our board and also keep ourselves alive, which is good. Yep. Go ahead. Because if he has like destroy all creatures and return, like that's gonna suck. Then this. Ah, uh, I gotta sacrifice one. God damn it. Alright, I'll do this one. Indestructible. You're not killing my... Doesn't... Yep, they're all indestructible and hexproof, so... You can choose a land, it's not targeting it, <laughs> but uh, yeah. He's gonna destroy three of my lands, which means I'm down three mana. No, thank you. He's just trying to stall me now. <laughs> yep, that's why that was in my deck. I am guessing the Sundering Titan was in your deck so that you could stop tricolored decks. He had the, he had the deck. Oh, right. We're not gonna be able to block this spell with Myril, so... Unfortunately, we lose a lot of things here. This is, this is bad. Yep. I let it die. Oh wait, it's indestructible, right? It doesn't dive to the... <laughs> I'm so dumb. I forgot about that. I forgot about that. He's just gonna equip it again, right? Yeah. Oh, a 9-12, yep. Okay. Oh, perfect. Good gold token. We just have so much mana, dude. Leave that on top, perfect. Um, what do we do? We just start making big fat tokens, right? Okay, while well, he gave up, all right. I mean, like, <laughs> he was either gonna do something or lose. 
that's pretty much what was going to happen. I'm just glad that I was able to get both of my enchantments out and he didn't have anything to deal with them. That itself put me in the game so that I, at least I wasn't taking a ridiculous amount of damage and he wasn't using the sword to pretty much just keep, keep recurring value. I slowed him down enough so that he couldn't slow me down enough, you know what I mean? That's funny. Okay. Uh, we do have a board wipe, but we... Hmm. I mean, we have all the lands. So we do this, we play this second. We don't have a two drop anyway. He has a four or Ketra, ooh. Unless you control three. Oh, we're gonna cast my Balin. Well, that's fine because we don't even use Balin in this deck. Balin isn't needed. Oh, we do have an untapped land, but that doesn't matter for us. We just do this. Thank you. Okay, we play this as a mountain and then we we don't play a Balin, but uh, at least we play it as a mountain. Yeah, uh, I know. I know people. It's just what's going to happen because everybody just has the perfect freaking everything. Okay. Uh we could make them sacrifice their... No. Or do an Elish Norn. Nah, we played the Elish Norn. We just put on the battlefield for now. Don't have an exile effect, please. He can make it big, but... He's not gonna attack me now, so... Okay, that's gonna suck for us. Whenever you cast a creature spell, yep. He makes a 1-1 one -one warrior, yep. He's gonna gain t 2 life. Oh wait, no. He doesn't gain one life per uh, Curse of Silence. This is such a dumb card. I should I should get this card. This is such a good commander card, especially on the one v one. Because if you get it turn one, it's pretty much just a. Uh... Oh hello, fuck you. All right, we do this. We start making tokens as well. That's all we can do for now. Uh, yeah, I attack with the three two. What are you gonna do? Double block. Yep. You can't do anything about that for now. And if I need to wipe the board, then I'll do it. Oh, okay. This is fine. Five or more. So I have to have seven mana. I have three, four, five right now. So I need two more mana. Ah. Yep. Ooh. Uh, play this as a white or a green? I guess it doesn't really matter. For now we need more white. So we have four, five, six. If we get one more land, we will be ballin'. God damn it. We could just play this and he draws a card. But at least we have something that can block and survive for now. Yeah, we do this. Resolve. Curse of Silence. Hexproof is can't be the target of spells or abilities. Oh, I guess that would no, because it's already on the battlefield. Yep. So put a one-one counter on. What? Make it the two-two at three-three. He's just gonna attack with one-ones though. Uh. No, make this thing bigger. Make it a 4-5, yeah. 4-6. No, only that one. Combat. Are you gonna block it? Yep, it's gonna kill your wall. No, I can't do anything. I need, I need one more mana, and then I can kill all this stuff. I need one more mana. Yep, he gets that. I can't do anything about that. I need one more mana. Yep, there's the Oketra. Yep, I need one more mana, people. Come on. Yep. I need one more mana. It's indestructible. I can kill all of his other stuff if I get one more land. If I don't, I just quit. There's no point. 
Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to do anything about that. Oh, I can exile it though. Oh, he's just gonna attack with a lot of stuff, yeah. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to protect it. Uh, pass the blockers. We can kill a lot of his tokens though. And yep, go ahead. Yep. Thank you for the life, my turn. Yep, no land. Six minutes of our time wasted. Ah It's like we chewed no token generation. We were so close. But they were just able to do token generation faster. I didn't expect that to be the case. Man. We just needed one more land there. Because they're, they're going to attack with Ketra. We, there's all these angels. Yeah, we're, we're definitely dead. Like, even if we survive another turn, it's just there's too much stuff on the board for us to deal with anything. Okay, this is great hand. This is a great hand. Yeah. Yeah, because we can just curve out perfectly. Okay, Jota the ju Unifier. Uh, yeah, red and white. It doesn't matter. We put this as a white as well. And then we play our Janus. White and a Janus. Uh, Adeline. Well, they have to deal with it instantly, I think. If they don't deal with the Adeline. We play this thing. Whenever you attack. I think I do this. No, we do Adeline. Yep. Yep. You're gonna need to start doing stuff. We're generating too many tokens. See, this is what I mean. Two of our token generators. Perfectly curved out. And now Balin will start to do his stuff. Not only that, but uh... Ooh. Uh, yeah. So we attack with this thing. And we play the ranger class. Auto play. Whenever you attack, put a one creature on target attack creature, yeah. Nice. I can exile it, and that's what I'm gonna do, because I have the banana for it. Not right now, but when I can. Uh, I either play the Resplendent, or I... Yeah, I can't do it. How much is that? Four mana? Uh, okay, so we got a combat. Uh, yeah, we can trade the seven for if they want. I'm okay with that. Wait, oh, it's the 1-1. One, one. Oh, okay, yeah, I'm fine with that. I'm okay with that for now. He gains 4 life, it's fine. I got a treasure. Oh, wait. And we have 2 mana left. So I... Well, wait, cancel. Uh, and then I'll end the turn, yep. For now. I want to exile his Atraxa. Pass attackers. Go ahead, attack me. Go ahead. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, see, the deck works then. Like, when I have my enablers. Man, if they only printed, like, ten versions of Ocelot in every color. So that I could have three of them. Yeah, that would be nice. 3% of the deck would just be really cheap token generation that makes insane tokens. Honestly, we didn't put the case in here. If we put the case, we could have gained life. 
The thing about this deck is you don't want to gain life. If you don't, if you're not pumping out tokens, you're not making it right because Spalin is there for you to base for a finisher, pretty much. Um, hmm, this is not a good hand whatsoever. I need three lands. I need to curve out into Balin at least. Like, if any, oh, this is a horrible hand now. I think we're just gonna, yeah. The deck is just screwing us over. Here's the thing. I'm not even mad about doing stuff like this anymore because I know Wizards is a pile of dicks. They eat a pile of dicks every day. And they will continue being the shittiest company on the planet. But, you know, it just is what it is. They're not the shittiest company on the planet. They are one of. Okay, Narset Exile. Narset Enlightened Exile. Let's please draw us good. Uh... I remember kind of have to. I'm so glad I took the mulligan. I am so glad I took the mulligan. I, I paused. My breath paused there for a second. Okay, we don't have a one drop, so we do this right away. We get perfectly curve out. We have red. Oh, whoopsies. Red, right, and green all set out. We can play our Johnny again, which is like, it's only one token, but it's... It will continue making tokens, and I think that's the best part. Creature you control have prowess. Whenever it attacks, you still target your non-creature creature. You may cast a copy with that. Okay, non-creature, non-land card with mana value. Okay, so it's an artifact, enchantment, or a sorcery, or an instance. Oh, I'm so dumb! Okay. I'm dumb. I should have already played that. Actually, we do this first. Yep, that's a lot better. That is a lot better. He's got to kill the Torin. <laughs> oh, he's not going to kill the Torin. He's just going to ramp. He's just going to ramp. If we get one more mana, we can play our Crete or our uh, Wandering Emperor here. Oh yeah, of course you have the melt. The one, he probably has a lot of kill spells, but that's probably the one that's fucking, of course. Um, yeah, we do this. Because once we get breaches down, this is going to be fun. Please get a land. I need a land. I need something that's not a, any regular card. Yep. There's no shit. Oh, thank you. Oh, that, I needed a white land. Never mind. Additional creature. What? Oh, okay. We do this. Scare you. Oh, uh, yeah, we target this thing. Not very quick creature deals come kind of draw a card and discard a card. Oh, I don't know why you did that. I have a red permanent. Oops. Yeah, I don't know why you did that, buddy. You just gave me two free planeswalkers there. Okay. <laughs> Well, I guess this is a Planeswalker Central now, because we have more Planeswalkers. <laughs> yep. The thing is, you want to make tokens, just attack with the tokens, whittle your opponent down. This is a very good uh, 1v1 commander. And then you just play it down to pretty much either gain advantage or to use your tokens if you can't attack in, in at all. You just make this thing really big. Or if you need cards, like if it's the only thing you can play, it'll just allay. So the tap three is just for drawing cards if you have no other card to play but this in your command zone. Okay, whenever you cast an instant sorcery spell copy, okay, that sucks. Oh yeah, he's just gonna deal four damage to everything. Both of my command, uh, my, yeah. Uh, that's annoying. That is annoying as hell. Uh, no, we don't need lands right now. Give us, give us something better. Do we do Balin now? I think we do this, yeah, for now. We 
gonna start whittling him down for now. Just put damage on the board. Get rid of the Balin if you want. Yep. Oh, prowess. Other creatures can draw prowess. Whenever you cast. Oh, that's really good. Um, Halo Fountain or. I think. We do Teo the Shield Mage. Yeah, he fucking did that. That's so annoying, dude. Like, what the fuck am I supposed to do if they just get the right fucking card for everything? Actually, we play this thing. Because then we start making a lot of tokens that way. Uh, we attack with this thing. You can let it die. Yep, it'll just be a 1-1 blocker for now. A 1-1 vigilant blocker. If you don't want to kill my commander, that's what you get, bitch. I'm going to exile his Bria because that's going to be super annoying. Or his Riptide or whatever. That's fine, I'll just play it on my turn. I don't care about your Grand Abolisher. I'm not about doing stuff on your turn. Yep. That's it. Okay. Interesting. Um, put a bomb on counter and it gains flying. We could do that for my commander. Yeah, we do that. It's fine. Attack with this one. Yep. I just wanted to die. Just kill it. Yep, that's fine by me. Yep, they don't want to kill it. <laughs> They're just going to keep taking the two damage. I didn't have mana to untap it. That's why I did that. Don't worry. I'll play another creature. We'll give our thing flying. Yep, there's Narset. You can attack with your 2-2. Two -two. Yep. I'm going to give my thing flying. Yep. Uh, why do I just keep getting the shittiest stuff ever? Do I just do this? Yeah. Yeah, we just get rid of that. And then we give this thing flying. Yep, it's a 3-3 three, three flyer now. <laughs> He's gonna have to kill my commander if he wants to get through on my... Uh, oh, yep, there we go. Like triple prowess, yep. Everything. Uh, hand, yeah. I'll put it in my hand. I'm okay with that. And if it's in my hand or in the command zone, it's, it's either cost more or I still have to cast it. He might have... Might win here because I haven't gotten a single thing that is removal. And he's just had every card to fucking counter me. Like, literally. Two mana to kill my Johnny. Four mana to kill my two other planeswalkers. This to stop my fucking commander from doing anything. And now every freaking... Yeah, and he just blows up my artifact. Yep. I think it might be over. If we draw a board wipe, it might not. But, uh... Yep, there we go. Okay, are you gonna try and kill me? Or are you... He has no cards though, that's the thing. I can't block anything, so... Yep. Cannot block, so... Without paying its mana cost. Wait, he can just play my... Yeah, he can play out of his graveyard too. Kill something of mine, yep. Probably kill the, uh, yeah, my... No, oh, but you're not gonna kill the... Okay. Interesting. Those aren't permanent plus one plus one counters, are they? It's just... Prowess, right? Yeah. Okay. They had, like, quadruple prowess or whatever. Uh... Yeah, do this, sure. Do one of these against first strike until on the turn. Mm. 
Uh, wait. We can tap two. We can tap four tokens to play this, and we just get one token. Nah. I could attack. Whittle him. Yeah, actually, because he doesn't have a lot of non-creatures to play. That's what I'm saying. Like, he, he has one... If he gets one non-creature, he can make his Bria unblockable. But the Narset's not going to... Yep, yeah, there it is, though. Yep. Yeah. 5-4. Oh, it's a flyer. Okay, well... I didn't know that it get flying. Yeah, dude, he just has everything for his deck. He has two fucking creatures in his deck that do everything. Literally, they do everything. He's just an attack trigger. I, I'm getting nothing. I'm literally getting nothing. And he just gets to play everything in, in my... Yeah, dude, I can't do anything. Yeah, do the four damage to... What? This thing? Yeah. And then make everything fucking massive. Yep. He made that thing unblockable. Uh. Yeah, I take action. Okay, well, he's gonna keep doing that, which is fine by me, because I'll just exile all cards in graveyards now. Nah, fuck you in your graveyard. You're not getting to play anything right now unless you kill it. Okay, he might just kill me though, but... Whatever. Oh no, he held back, he held back some blockers, yeah, yeah. He's just gonna attack me with those things though, so... Yeah, if I don't get the damage in now, I'm not gonna be able to get it in anyway, so he can block one of them, yeah. Please have a land. He doesn't have a land. He has the best fucking non-creature spell you could ask for, which is fucking crackling. God damn it, dude. Ah. Uh, like, I'm so close to winning and they just don't give it to me. Yep. Now he just gets to draw everything and now he's gonna win no matter what. Yeah. This fucking growl thing. Literally draws the best fucking card he can draw in that scenario. Oh my god, dude. We're so close to winning, too. That's so dumb. Just everything. He gets everything. He gets evasion. He gets fucking every non-creature so he can just keep going. Didn't draw a single fucking land in like three, four turns. Me? Oh, oh I don't know. Five turns with lands, mate, sometimes? Like, it's just absolutely dumb. It's not that hard to play the the Balin deck. It's just the problem is just that when Wizard says fuck you instantly. Uh okay, this is fine. This time I'm playing the Goro Goro on fucking curve. I didn't play the Ajani on curve last time and I messed up. Yep, go ahead. I have a fucking 2-2 two -two that you gotta pay one mana to pay every turn, yep. Uh I mean yeah, we just do that for now. I don't need to play these yet. Oh, uh, uh, for sure, artifact you control spun to gave a paranoia counter. Oh, okay. Yeah, he goes first, so he's probably gonna outvalue me, but whatever. I play Goro Goro. Yep, he probably has a kill spell. I block this thing. He's gonna have a kill spell. Or a buff spell or something, right? Yep. Yep. I mean, at this point, it doesn't matter. I'm just gonna lose. Like, <laughs> keep drawing fucking lands, like I said. The good thing is, we can, if he starts putting a lot of creatures on the battlefield, we can just kill them all with the burn down the house. If not, we just make two twos, a lot of two twos. Yeah, I'm blocking with the one one, dude. What do you think is going on? I'm gonna make you use your spells. You gotta, you gotta use them. Yep. I'm making you use them now so it doesn't kill my commander. 
And he can't use it on his own creature, yep. Ooh, uh, four mana. Base out the Bounding Spring. What? Base of the Bounding Spring, yep. It's just life gain. And I get a counter, yep. Now there's a 4-5. He's gotta deal with that. Yep, there's the Sadra. Uh, we could do 5. Oh, wait, 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 here. Yeah, I think we do that. I think we do that. Oh, uh, we have to play this thing, right? Or, this thing is a white. No, we have enough white. We play this to green. No, we have enough green. Alright. We need a uh, red. That's what we need. But I play this for now. And uh, I attack with the 4-5. And I make another 1-1. One, one. And they're all big now. All my creatures are bigger. Yep, create 3 goblins. Creatures gain trample. Haste. Yep. I'm gonna kill your Ronin. Fuck your Ronin. Yep. Ah, red. Yeah, there we go. That's what I was looking for. Uh, should I just do that to draw a card? Yeah. No, I can do it on his turn. So, actually... Um... Yeah, I attack with the 5-6. I'm okay with that. Damage. He's just gonna take damage? Okay. I'll just keep my tokens back for now. I'll use my tokens if I need to, to draw cards with Balin. And I'll just defend with them. That's what I'm supposed to do, right? Yep, he's gonna do the same. Go ahead. If he doesn't attack me, I will just put counters on Balin actually first. No, we need to draw cards. We need stuff to do. Yep, make that a six mana thing. Yep. Oh, yep. That's gonna suck. He's gonna put it on all his creatures. Resolve all of them. Yeah, everything is just gonna get bigger. Fucking hell, dude. He doesn't have enough to kill me, but this is gonna be really fucking annoying. So pretty much everything I was gonna do, I can't, because he's just gonna go all out here. Watch this. I mean, he can if he needs to, so... What do I do? Tap four and put three of them. Yep. Now everything gets it, dude. I'm, like, uh, this is so dumb. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna be able to block. I'm, I'm gonna be able to block some stuff with it here. So that's nine damage. I can block five things, which is oh okay, pass attackers. Yeah, yeah. One, two, three, four, five, and then. One, two, three, four. Seven to four. I'm okay with this. Uh, yeah, one of this. Yep. He loses all his creatures. I could have done three to the hot Zadra, but it doesn't matter. Yep, I have an 8 now, so he's gonna take a lot of damage there. We play the Myro. Uh, yeah, we attack with the 8 7. Bring you down. Yeah, he can play that twice. Yep, yep, that's fine. Base 3 plus 3 plus 7 on the turn. I'm gonna block with everything. Uh, yeah. I only take 6 damage, and you die. Good game. Like, what, 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 
Screw you, Zada. Screw you, Zada. See, that's how you use the Balin. It's also a combat trick because it's an instant. Oh, that was beautiful. We just cannot get generation before our opponent kills us or before they just start dealing with our stuff and then we just got we're backpedaling. Yeah, Balin's draw is literally a last last resort. That's what I keep saying. Like I do that if he does nothing. But since he did something, I couldn't really do anything there, so I just let that go. I keep this hand. Yeah, we can play Geared as well. Actually, we play on the mob sorry, N and aim Pakel so we can attack with the, this thing. So, yep, do that. Phylath, World Sculptor, that's a good card. Very good card. Play a red, we play the Gallic Readers. Um, I'm gonna just play the white and then start with the Anim Pakal so I can start making tokens and then I can do the Gyrid, and then we can put the Balin. Because after that we're gonna be making- Oh, okay, that's not good. Four mana, yep. Wait, oh, because he did the thing, yeah, he did the thing. Disguise, too. Okay. Oh, but we could just get stuff bigger, I think, anyway. So we just play the Anim Pakal for now. Uh, create a tap treasure token or throw a plus one plus one no attacks. Yep, make it bigger. He got a land and he was able to play a four four. I don't know what to tell you, people. Like when you go second, life just sucks. Oh no, one minute. Rex is its power. Oh my god, dude. I, I, like, instantly. I, I thought this was a landfall deck. What is this fucking red aggro bullshit? Um. Yeah, we have to pay our commander at this point, dude. Like, what? Uh, treasure token? Yeah, I do another treasure token. Because then I can, uh, do that. So I attack with this thing, because I'm not going to be able to block with it anyway. Then we can put down our Gyriad and start making more tokens. But I'm gonna do this first to get rid of the fucking Phylath. Yep. Yep. No 10-10. That fucking... Wait, what gives haste? Oh, this thing... I didn't even see that. I'm so dumb. Uh, well, he's gonna hate me, but uh, I'm gonna have to do this. So... Play it face down. Create, uh, put a 1-1 one -one counter on this thing, yep. Turn face up. Auto pay. Exile this thing. Goodbye. Like, I, I just, just, there's nothing I can do at this point. Like, this is so dumb. Uh... No, because he can block, yeah. I need to start getting uh, non-gnomes down and start attacking with him, which I can with the Quintorius, but I can't do that until I have it down, so. Let me guess, you got a kill spell? Yeah, there's the kill spell. Great. I just, I don't have anything to deal with all this bullshit. Oh, we play our fucking, yeah. Uh, yeah, we play the Gyrid. We have to sacrifice two tokens. Oh, no, we can't do that. Wait, one, two. Oh, we only sacrifice one. Okay. Green. Yeah, because zero. Okay, so what? Uh, so this is green. We need red. And then we will 
tap this for green, and then we will tap this for white, and then we will play the Gearid. And, uh, make a copy of this thing. Um, make a copy of this thing. Yeah, make a copy of this thing. And, uh, yeah, make a copy of, uh, this thing. And then I'll pass, yep. We got four three twos, so we can block some of his stuff. He can play his Phylath again if he has... Oh no, he, he can't yet. Yep. Oh no, you son of a bitch. Yep. He got rid of the gear. That was literally the one thing that was keeping us alive. God damn it, game. He's gonna put a land on top. Oh! Actually, I'll keep that on top, whatever. It's something else he has to deal with, right? Oh, we get it. Nice. But. Search your life for. Equal to the. Oh, cancel. Okay. Uh, to combat or. I guess we can just wait for him to do something, right? We attack with one, three, two. Yep. Make some more, and then blockers. He can block the one ones, whatever. I don't care. Yep. And then uh, that to damage. And then I shall. Can I not put a counter on this? Nope. Okay. End the turn. Yep. Balin is so good in that regard. Oh, don't kill the Balin. You have another kill spell, don't you? You have enough to kill. Wait, five, six, seven. Oh, he doesn't have enough to do that. But yeah, the Anim Pakal will keep getting bigger. So you might want to kill the Anim Pakal, yeah. He just has every fucking thing in his deck that allows him to kill my stuff. Like, oh my god. Ah, uh, yeah. I gotta let that resolve. I can't do anything. Uh, okay. Submit four. And then it is my turn. Take action. Draw a card. I don't think I have a one mana. Yeah, I don't think. I might have a one mana. You know what? Let's just do it anyway. We have the mana for it, so. Oh, okay, great. We have this thing, but we... Oh, we can play as a two? Nah, I'll just play as a big spell next turn. No, I'll just pass the turn, yeah. I'll just pass the turn. <laughs> you can play your Phyleth again. You get a lot of things. I'm just waiting for my fucking board wipe so I can finally reset everything and start actually doing stuff. Because the Quintorius is literally just slowly building up. Yep. Played his land already, though. Yep, we get to 10 10. I could kill the 10 10. Take action. Yep. Ooh, wait, wait, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Oh, hell yeah. We can make it much bigger, though. No, I think we just have to play it as a. As a Yeah, we just played as a as a uh, something we were gonna block with. We could sacrifice some stuff. We're gonna go thin our deck, so we stop getting lands off the fucking top of our library. Uh, yeah. There we go. We could play this thing, but make another three-two. Activate this card. Oh wait, cancel. Uh, and then I just pass for now, yeah. I just pass for now. Hmm. 
I can always make Balin bigger if I need to. Put three counters, so it'll be a 10-9. Yeah, 10-9. Honestly, we're just stalemating here, but the problem is that he's not doing anything. Uh, X is 7, so we do this. One, four, summit four. Yep, go ahead. I just made my Balin bigger. Uh, tap three. Uh, I'm just outvaluing him here. This is what, this is the whole point. Uh, take action, sure. I don't know if we have a 3 mana drop. Oh, we finally got something that's good. So we do Sylvato. Creature card from your... Gr do this, I guess. Do we play Arasta or... Do we even have enough for the other... No, we don't. We play Sylvala then. Let's do... Yeah, we could play this and sacrifice two tokens. Yeah, we do that, whatever. One, tap, tap two. And then make a uh, discover four, re up. Ooh, yep, I'll play that. Oh, he just quits. Okay. Yep. Alright, alright. I think that's it. Thank you all for watching as always. It's it's a fun deck to play, honestly. I like it. Um, I think Balin just needs to... Uh, if I had like a... I guess I could just play a ton of cheap token generation and this they would make this card insanely broken. Because if you think about it, this gives you mana, this draws you cards, and this puts counters on it, and is a threat. So all you need to do is make tokens, really, in the deck. And it works. But uh, yeah, thank you all for watching. 218 subscribers this time to check. Y'all are amazing. Keep going. And um, yeah, that's all I got for this video. See y'all in the next one.